Rachel and I are out for an overnight spring fishing trip. It's early April and this is the first time we're busting out the rods. We also only have one car, so we're going to be shuttling by stashing our bikes and at the end of the trip, biking back to the put-in. Water levels are up, the fish are going to be biting and it's going to be an awesome couple days. That's a nice looking <laughs> trout. Oh my goodness. Look at that spot wow. on the bottom. Rachel got the first fish of the trip. That is a beautiful brook trout. Gorgeous. Do you want to, do you want to show that mark? That's beautiful. That's a big fish. First fish of the trip, way bigger than I was expecting for this small tributary. First pool we started fishing at, Rachel lost the first one and grabbed this one. That one's for dinner. This is one of the last things we were expecting on this small stream. Significant waterfall. Beautiful. So we just came around this waterfall and had a quick lunch. Just for fun, I took a cast in the pool. And a decent trout came out of it. I'm gonna try another cast. Maybe there's another one in there. I don't know, now that they say that their buddy not come back. Okay, <laughs> bring it in, bring it in. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a little, it's not as fat, but it's definitely. It's long. It's long. Good job. Oh, bring it in. <laughs> nice. Okay. I, I think we should put it back. Yeah, I agree. You ready? Rachel just caught a personal best trout. It was a bit of a scramble there. We didn't get good footage of it because we wanted to get it back in the water. It wasn't hooked the best. Got a couple of photos, but whew, that was exciting. This time of year, I find that spin rods typically work better than fly rods. The fish are still really sluggish and their bites are more reactionary. Flashy little lures like one to two size MEPs, as well as small spoons in a variety of colors work. And depending on what they're biting, you sort of change around to see what works best for that water body at that time. Some guys tip their lures with worms for that extra scent, but we're doing all right with just the hardware. Okay. They're hungry. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! There's another big one. Yeah. Goodness gracious. <laughs> the fishing here has been awesome. Some big fish here.
We're approaching the the old dam site, which is also going to be our campsite for tonight. Just got to camp. There's a storm coming in the next hour or so. So Rachel's setting up the tent and I'm gonna set up our kitchen. We got the tarp, it's gonna rain a lot tonight and we wanna be cozy and cook our trout in a dry spot. So I see a spot here that has a lot of potential, but there's a lot of work to do. Four trouts. Oh, wow. For dinner tonight, we're doing fish tacos. Corn tortillas and some fresh ingredients to make these trout really shine. Structure. Nothing better. All right guys, just doing a quick water boil and then we're heading to bed. It's pretty cold. It's probably about two or three degrees. You can see our breath. See you guys tomorrow. We have a big day ahead of us.
We were camping on the spot where behind us there is this big berm. And this berm was actually man-made. This is one of Nova Scotia's largest earthen dams. Earthen dams are used for logging here in Nova Scotia. Not so much now, but there's a long history of logging in the province. So what this does is it narrows the flow and allows the logs to pass through the dam in a controlled manner. And this is well overgrown. I believe this was built in the 1940s, which is about 80 years old. And you can see what nature does over time. Pretty cool though. What a beautiful day. The rain came through and opened up blue skies and sun today. We have a lot of rapids ahead of us. And then at the end of today, we still got to bike 30 plus kilometers. So we have a full day. We wanted to be on the water probably about three hours ago, but we enjoyed our time too much at camp. So it's just gonna be an extra long day today, but it's a great day for it. It's perfect. Yeah. You? Yeah. Good back paddle. Forward. Rachel and I are getting really close to the end of the river, and what a river indeed, but this is not the end of our adventure. We still have to bike back to the starting point. So we're just trying to figure out our game plan, going to get some water, uh, stash all our stuff again.
Let's show them we're done. We made it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, give us a subscribe. It means a lot to the channel and it helps us grow. Guys, until next time, I'll see you then.